Welcome to another episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Um, today I'm going to be trying a beer from Elysian Brewing. Haven't done uh, an Elysian beer on this format of show yet, um, but on our regular podcast, Brutal Battle, which you can get on iTunes and Stitcher and on the website BrutalBattle.com. Um, we've done some Elysian on there. Typically, pretty interested in Elysian. They usually do solid beers. Uh, this is a pumpkin beer. Anyone who listens to the podcast regularly knows I am not a pumpkin beer fan. So anytime you see me on this show doing a pumpkin beer, it's usually a situation where I'm actually not going to drink the whole thing. I'm going to try it and give my review of it, and then my wife's going to drink it because she's a big fan. So same with this one. She's going to drink this beer. I'm just trying it and doing an episode for YouTube. Anyway, uh, so this is Punkachino by Elysian. And as the name sounds, it is a pumpkin coffee uh, ale. I believe it's an ale, yeah. So, pumpkin coffee ale. They usually have pretty good artwork, Elysian. Um, so, no exception here. I think it's pretty cool. Um, interested to see how the pumpkin and the coffee are going to play together. One of the things Elysian does not do, they do not put the alcohol by volume on the bottle. Mm, I mean, it's not a huge deal when you know it's like a pumpkin beer. You know it's not going to be anything crazy unless it says something imperial in the name. So, really not a big deal in this case. But, we'll see. Let me give this a try. Hopefully, I don't totally hate it because pumpkin beers for me... Okay. I'm not going to pour too much because that's less than my wife will get. Okay. Uh, on the head, not a ton of head coming in. There's a decent amount of bubbles forming at the bottom already. So you swirl it a little bit, getting some decent head to it. Um, it's brown. It's very brown. Kind of looks like a dark brown ale. I know it's kind of hard to see there, but trust me. Uh, very brown on the edges. You can. It's not like pitch dark. You can't not totally see through it. You can see a little bit into it. Definitely smell pumpkin on the nose. But there's some spices in there too. It smells like cinnamon as well. And definitely the coffee. The coffee's on the end of the scent. So it's like pumpkin, cinnamon up front. And anyone who you know knows what cinnamon smells like, which I assume is everybody, knows that cinnamon is a pretty um, pungent scent. So you really get that cinnamon in there. Mm. So that's mainly all I smell is coffee, pumpkin, cinnamon. Mm. Okay. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, to be honest. I do like cinnamon and coffee. Mmm. The body for the flavors going on, I'd kind of like more body. I'd like it to be in something like a stout porter. Um, it makes me kind of confused because these are flavors that you typically would get in that style of beer. You know, there's a lot of coffee to it when I'm tasting it. Um, and the, like the cinnamon. Cinnamon is like way in there. I'm not, I mean, I get a little bit of pumpkin, but the pumpkin is significantly more subdued in the flavor as opposed to the aroma. You can get it, but you're mainly just getting cinnamon and coffee, which is kind of odd because, I don't know, it's just a weird pairing cinnamon and coffee together. It's not bad though. Starts with a cinnamon kick, get a little bit of the pumpkin in the middle, and it finishes coffee. And the coffee just kind of lingers on your tongue. <clears throat> you know, you get a little bit of, like, acridity when you've just finished taking a sip of coffee. You're getting basically the same thing in this. Um, overall, for what it's supposed to be, you know, it doesn't say it's a porter or a stout. It's a coffee pumpkin ale. I think it's pretty decent. Uh, and for me to say that, pretty good. Well, I'm probably saying it because I can't really taste a whole lot of pumpkin. So, um, not a bad beer. I would recommend it to people if they are interested in it. Punkachino. Let me see if there's any sort of tasting notes on this. Um, says cinnamon and nutmeg for it. Da -da 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 -da. And, yeah. Oh, wait. They do have the ABV on here. I'm sorry. There have been other bottles where I haven't been able to find it. And maybe they didn't put it on there. Maybe I just couldn't find it. 5% alcohol by volume on this. Um, it doesn't taste astringent at all, so 5% seems about right. Anyway, uh, anyone who was interested in it because they heard what it was 
or are looking at it and like, oh, you know, those flavors could be good together, I would recommend it for you if you're curious. Uh, check it out. It won't disappoint you too much. Thanks for checking me out.